This is incredible, folks. This lens focus is blazingly fast. Two words, VXD motor. Okay, three letters and one word, but you get my point. It's a game changer, but will this 70 to 180 millimeter Tamron lens with the new VXD motor be able to accurately focus on this at a distance? How about this? I have here the new Tamron 70 to 180 millimeter lens for the Sony E-mount mirrorless cameras, and there's a lot to be excited about. With this new VXD motor, the autofocus speed, accuracy, smoothness has gotten a huge upgrade, all while managing to keep it extremely quiet, meaning it's great not just for photos, but for video as well. Having said that, I'm gonna set up various size items around the showroom and put the autofocus speed and accuracy to the test. But before we begin, shout out to Tamron for hooking us up with the 70 to 180 and for supporting this video. And if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button below, subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. So here I have a book, a bobblehead, bottle of bubbly water, hand sanitizer, and a nickel. I'm gonna set them up around the showroom and quickly zoom and pan to them and see how quickly and accurately it will pick them up. So now I'm gonna show you how fast this lens actually focuses in the photo mode. I'm gonna pan over to the book. Boom, focus, take a picture. Bobblehead, boom, even eye detection. Pellegrino. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky, but I think we got it. This is the nickel and no issues here, folks. Focused right on a dime. No, wait, a nickel. Hand sanitizer, back to the nickel. Boom, focused. Now let's pan all the way back to the bobblehead. Boom, and focus, and the book. This is incredible, folks. This lens focus is blazingly fast. To really see the speed at which this lens focuses, check out this footage I took testing it out on three different objects I placed at different distances. Focus is almost instant, going from the foreground to the background and vice versa. And to test how well this lens is able to track focus, here's me walking around, and as you can see, the results are really good. The majority of the photos come out in focus, and I originally tested it out on my girlfriend, but she made it clear that I'd be in trouble if I used them in this video, so you have to settle for photos of me. So it seems like the VXD motor has made a huge difference. It's quick, accurate, and really quiet. And what's really impressive is how this technology was able to be packed into such a small frame. And I can't emphasize this enough, but this lens is really compact and lightweight. Now comparing it to the Sony G Master 70 to 200 millimeter lens that I have right here, you can really see the difference. And I've been playing around with the 70 to 180 millimeter lens for a couple of days. And I've been really impressed by the lens's autofocus performance, even when shooting in low light environments. Now the quality is also really sharp with very little to no chromatic aberration. Yes, the Sony G Master 70 to 200 has optical stabilization, has the focus locking buttons, and overall might have a slight advantage in performance, and I mean slight, but when the price, size, and warranty comes into the mix, you're not gonna find anything much better than the 70 to 180 from Tamron. And if you'd like to check out a comparison between the Tamron 70 to 180 and the Sony 70 to 200 millimeter G Master, check out the video Manny Ortiz did. I think he did a really good job and I'll link the video in the description below. If you like this video, remember hit the thumbs up button below, subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.